Excellencies, friends of IPS, distinguished ladies and gentlemen. It is indeed for me a great honor and privilege to once again, but particularly on this occasion, welcome you to another edition of the IPS International Achievement Award. This year, as you know, the award is very special because the awardee is no other than the Secretary General of the United Nations, Excellency Kofi Annan. IPS began this series of awards back in 1985, and in those days it used to be called an International Journalism Award. And the idea was to honor journalists who have made particular contributions to the struggle for human rights and democracy, some of them in fact giving their lives including journalists like Guillermo Cano of El Espectador in Colombia and IPS's own Richard Zoyser of Sri Lanka, both of whom died, as it were, in the line of fire as journalists trying to cover stories that others would rather not have covered. Then, in early 1991, we changed the focus to make it an International Achievement Award to widen it to include persons who have achieved particularly, particular acclaim in the work for social and human justice in the world. And during the years since 1991, we have honored a very distinguished group of individuals and I am not going to read all the names to you because they are in the packet um, that is left there for you. But they include individuals like Grasa Michelle, the First Lady of South Africa, and Boutros Boutros Ghali, a former Secretary General of this uni these United Nations, Randall Robinson of Trans-Africa, and Jean Bertrand Aristide, the former president of Haiti. So it is in that context and in against that tradition that we're gathered here again at the United Nations. And the very fact that so many of you have turned out um, is in our view. We thank you for that. We also know that a lot of it has to do with the fact that tonight's honoree is particularly um, respected by those of you who are here and the fact that you are here means that you share with us the joy in making this award to the Secretary General. We have a very short program because uh, it is one of those evenings when um, many things are happening. But um, we could not have an award of this kind without some, some individuals making some contributions. And we have a keynote speaker in Ambassador Dumasani Kumalo, who is the chairman of the Group of 77. Interestingly, um, Ambassador not only comes with a background that includes journalism and therefore having a very special reason to be here, but um, he's also representing the, one of the organizations which in the past has been honored by the IPS. So, Without further ado, I'm going to ask Ambassador Kumalo to address the gathering. Ambassador. I know that uh, we are all going to miss the Secretary General and Mrs. Anand, and, uh, but I will miss them too. But above all, I will miss being chairman of the, of the, of the G77. So, so that I can get invited to all these nice events. <laughs> and I only discover that when my term is running out. So, Secretary General, Mr. Mario Lubetkin, Director, of, Director General of IPS, members of the Board of IPS, Excellencies, ladies and gentlemen, it is indeed a great honor for me to speak at the Interpress Service Award Ceremony 
recognizing Secretary General Kofi Annan for his lasting contributions to peace, security, development, gender empowerment, and human rights. Of the Interpress Service, it is said that when a group of brave and independent journalists led by, among others, Mr. Robert Savio, an Italian freelance journalist, came together more than 40 years ago, they were convinced of the need to provide an independent view of the events that shocked humankind at that time and offer a different voice among the mass media on one free of ties to any state or political or economic group. In the past 20 years, the IPS has sought out many well-deserving recipients of the IPS award, whose voices have not, have not been silent about the conditions of the poor and the marginalized people of the world. I believe that in honoring Kofi Annan with the International Achievement Award for 2006, the IPS may have finally honored one who not only personalizes the vision of its founders, but perhaps one of its most deceiving, de deserving re recipients. The only other Secretary General of the United Nations to receive this award was Mr. Boudros Boudros Ghali in 1996. In his acceptance speech, Mr. Boudros Boudros Ghali said, and I quote, the press must tell the story of the developing world. It must call for economic and social justice. It must insist upon standards of good governance. And governments will come to support the press as a powerful instrument serving the interests of the people." End quote. Now, since we are in the UN, in our usual UN speak, Kofi Annan implemented the message of Mr. Boutros Boutros Ghali by becoming the voice of the voiceless that the media could not easily ignore. In one of his memorable statements as Secretary General, Mr. Anand told the Millennium Summit on 6 September 2000 that, and I quote, in an age when human beings have learned the code of human life and can transmit their knowledge in seconds from one continent to another, no mother in the world can understand why her child should be left to die of malnutrition, of preventable disease. No one can understand why they should